here in this backyard, this entire area in the low spot floods with water. Now, on the far side of the puddles that you're seeing is a downhill slope that starts about a block away. And all the water ends up here in the backyard. So we're going to install a gravel perforated system with a few catch basins in here to catch this water and move it on out to an existing line out here on the side of the home. So there's so much excess soil on a yard drain installation. In this case, we're going to have about 80 feet of soil by about a foot or so depth that we have to move. Normally we look for low spots around the foundation walls, but for this home, it's pretty full up. So we need a place to put the soil, and uh, working with the homeowner, they had a really good plan. They're going to put up a retaining wall around the soil and make a flower bed. I'll be sure to show you the DIY retainer wall that was put in at the end of this video. We've got the uh, yard drain main line pretty much dug here and it's about from the fence on back there's about 80 maybe 85 feet and we're going to move all that soil up into some new flower beds that are being made and then we're going to tie in to an existing line over here in the front side of the home. You lace the bottom of the trench with gravel, perforated pipe that was on top of the laced gravel of the trench, and then we're going to gravel fill the entire trench to ground level. So we're lacing the bottom of this trench with gravel. We want to have a good base of gravel underneath our perforated pipe. Here at the lower end of the line, we've installed a catch basin. And then it goes solid from the catch basin on out to an existing line in the front yard. So right in here is the high spot of the yard. In other words, the, the water is going to drain in both directions from here. It's going to go out here on this main line, tie into solid pipe and go to an existing line out front. And water is also going to go in this direction uh, out to an existing line that's solid as well and on out to the street. Holes always face down. I can't say it enough. You can see that the water would come into the trench off the hill, saturate the bottom of the trench, come up through the gravel, and then it's grabbed inside of this pipe, and the pipe acts like a conduit and moves that water quickly out to the street. All right, this is the last section of perforated pipe that we want to put in, and then we're going to go ahead and gravel fill it. We filled the trench, laced it on the bottom with gravel, installed perforated pipe on top of that, with the holes facing down and then we're going to fill this trench to the top with gravel. You lace the bottom of the trench with gravel, perforated pipe that was on top of the laced gravel of the trench and then we're going to gravel fill the entire trench to the top and this perforated pipe acts like a conduit and moves the water quickly out to the street. That's going to make a perfect curtain drain or yard drain some people use the name French drain running this gravel up a somewhat steep of a hill so I don't fill that barrel up too much
57 round washed gravel that's going to go inside of the trench it's going to go in the bottom of the trench the pipe comes in and then it's covered to ground level with rock as well completed a freshwater wash down of the area. Once again there's a catch basin here at the very lowest point where water has been gathering. Uh, we also have tied in a downspout that was splashed out on the surface contributing to water issues back here. And all this water that's been coming down this hill over the years will now just go right into that yard drain. A little bit of grass seeding. I can't wait to see how this project the homeowner's doing turns out. I'm Chris with Atlantic Drain reminding you it's easy once you know how. That is just fantastic. Truly.